FHFA's final strategic goal is to build a new infrastructure for the enterprise's securitization functions. The core of this effort is the common securitization platform, and I want to talk about two aspects of this today. First, after extensive discussion within FHFA and with the enterprises, we have clarified that the agency's top objective for the common securitization platform is to make sure that it works for the benefit of Fannie and Freddie. Over the last four months, we have identified the risk involved in transitioning to a common securitization platform and reviewed how to manage those risks. We found that because of the many variables involved, the main danger to the CSP effort would be pursuing too many objectives at the same time. Since any stumbles along the way could have ripple effects in the $10 trillion housing finance market, there's a lot at stake in getting this right. As a result, our decision has been to de-risk this project. Moving forward, we will focus our efforts on creating a common securitization platform that can undertake Fannie and Freddie's current securitization operations. A successful outcome will be a seamless transition from the current in-house systems that issue new securities for each enterprise to a future joint venture owned by Fannie and Freddie that operates one system with updated technology. Defining the scope in this way acknowledges that building a CSP for a future housing finance system that is not yet defined is extremely risky and could add needless cost. This scope does not mean that our CSP efforts will be at odds with the future housing finance system or that our process will take place in a vacuum. To the contrary, we are requiring that the CSP leverage the systems software, and standards used in the private sector whenever possible. This will ensure that the CSP will be adaptable for use by other secondary market actors, including private label securities issuers, when the future state is more defined. 